everyone and welcome back to Immigration and Jobs Talk Show. I am Nipasa Pradhan, your host. And today we have a crucial topic to discuss that's been making headlines. Are you, as a taxpayer, going to pay for other individuals' needs? Well, today we are going to share a controversial initiative set to launch this summer. The Taxpayer Funded ID Program for Illegal Immigrants. Immigration and Customs Enforcement ICE is eyeing a summer rollout for a controversial ID card pilot program for illegal immigrants being released into the U.S. And the agency hopes it will modernize the documentation process for removal proceedings. First reported in 2022, the ICE Secure Docket Card program aims to modernize the documentation process for removal proceedings. This initiative has garnered attention due to its potential impact on immigration policies. Important dates in this timeline include the initial reporting of the program in 2022, followed by the recent confirmation of a limited rollout this summer. Approximately 10,000 cards are slated for distribution, with locations in focus including Houston and Atlanta. Leaked images of the card obtained by Fox Digital last year showcased its design, sparking debates about its implications. Although not an official federal ID, the card is expected to streamline documentation for some non-citizens. ICE clarified that the secure card would not serve as federal identification, but rather as a DHS-issued document. It's set to undergo national security background checks before assurance, aiming to enhance security measures. Furthermore, the transition from paper documents to a secure card aligns with ICE's efforts to modernize its systems. Digital portals will facilitate easier verification of identity and access to immigration documents. However, the program faces opposition from some Republicans and conservatives who voice concerns about its potential impact. Critics argue that providing IDs to illegal immigrants may lead to unintended consequences. R.J. Homan, president of the National Immigration Center for Enforcement, warned of possible repercussions, citing concerns about identity issues and government policies. In response, Republicans have proposed legislation to address citizenship questions in the census, aiming to prevent non-citizens from affecting congressional apportionment. Meanwhile, the Biden administration contends with challenges on multiple fronts advocating for comprehensive reforms and bipartisan cooperation. As this issue continues to unfold, we'll keep you updated on the latest developments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Immigration and Jobs Talk Show. Have a great day. Are you an IT consultant seeking a new opportunity? We offer job placement services for U.S. citizens, green cards, EADs, and visa holders. We also sponsor various work visas like H-1B, E3, TN, and green cards. 20-plus years of experience in the industry. Exceptional employee benefits. Highly rated by our employees. Global presence with 200-plus recruiters and direct clients. Connect with us. Call us on the number. 833-412-8472 or mail us at support at higheritpeople.com or visit our website www.higheritpeople.com